Good afternoon, my fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen of the press. I would at this stage address you in the importance of effective information dissemination to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Information dissemination that is accurate and delivered in a timely manner and in a tone that engages the attention of the public is critical to the fight against the pandemic that is on our hands. Experts everywhere tell us that accurate information that is delivered in a timely manner is critical in managing crisis. This is not about fear mongering or heightened anxiety. Rather, it is about experts in the field and not political actors who provide accurate information to the public to understand what is happening so the public can respond to advice and measures taken by authorities. One of the key preventive measures in combating this disease is contact tracing. Contact tracing can only work better in an environment where the public has full disclosure of the movements of infected persons. The timeliness and accuracy of information put out by government and regulatory of agencies is therefore imperative. Conflicting information breeds confusion and mistrust, which increases the vulnerability of the public to fake news and fake cures. Last night at 10 p.m., it took surfing the net and websites to learn that the number of people who have tested positive has risen to 27 and the mortality to two. May the soul of those who have died rest in perfect peace. We are just learning this morning that the numbers have actually risen to 52. Ladies and gentlemen, a number of questions beg for urgent answers. We need to currently know how many people are on self-quarantine. We need to know how far we have come in securing test kits and supplies. We need to know how many PPEs we have in the country and how far the government has come in procuring more PPEs. Our research shows that some district hospital staffs and local clinical staff have not been trained in what to look for and proper use of personal protective equipments. We therefore call on government to give us accurate information on the number of medical staff who have been trained and at what specific level. We also ask for accurate information on how many more medical staff are left to be trained and what specific training they are currently receiving. As part of the public tracing agencies, we need to know the role of the district metropolitan assemblies. Also, we need to know the role of the NCCE, NCCE in this fight. We need to know what specific help they have received from government in terms of logistics and resources to help them do better and quicker public education. The role of NADMO as the emergency relief organization and how government is liaising with them and resourcing them and how the assistance is manifested at the local level is also key. This also applies to our security agencies. In terms of our quarantine centers, we need to know how many we have nationwide. Where are these quarantine centers located and what is their capacity? Also, we need information on the kind of personnel we currently have in these quarantine centers and specific resources they have received. Additionally, we need clear information on the number of isolation centers we have nationwide, their location and capacity, what personnel are staffing the centers, and what clinical services do we have available in these facilities. These are a few of the critical pieces of information that government must provide to the nation as part of its effort to manage 
the present pandemic we have on our hands. It is important that government set up a specific time to provide accurate live updates to the nations like it pertains to other countries such as Italy, South Africa, and several other countries. This, this team is ever willing and ready to support government in this regard. We call on the media, civil society, and corporate Ghana to collaborate with government to intensify public education on this pandemic. The surest way to win the fight against the novel COVID-19 pandemic is through transparency and aggressive public education that is based on timely and accurate information. We must all help to achieve that. Thank you, and God bless our homeland, Ghana. Thank you.